We've all heard that electric vehicles run on electric motors and battery packs. But behind the electric motor is the motor controller that manages the amount of electrical energy sent to the electric motor from the battery pack. In an IC engine car, this function is taken care of by the carburetor that manages the amount of air-fuel mixture that is let into the combustion chamber. But just as it looks, this process involves a lot of heavy gear mechanism that is avoided in EVs by just using the motor controller. Through proper coordination with the motor controller, the electric motor can produce good starting torque that gets the gear to top speeds in just a matter of seconds. Underlying this is the power converter and microcontroller. The way this works is quite similar to the human brain. When you look up motor controllers in EVs on the internet, you're bound to find them likened to the human brain. And this is because the same way the brain receives sensory input from the surroundings, the motor controller does too. A microprocessor in the EV receives signals from the brakes and throttle. These signals get processed to produce an output that controls the electricity sent to the motor with the help of a power electronic converter. This interface links the electronic components of the EVs and its output generally manages the speed, direction, torque, and horsepower of the vehicle. Inputs coming from the battery are sent to the motor controller, which then forwards a corresponding signal to the motor. A cable connects the pedal to two potentiometers. When you press down on the pedal, it sends a corresponding signal to the controller, which determines how much power to send to the electric motor. The controller then reads the values on the potentiometers and ensures that both signals are the same. This is why there are two potentiometers for safety reasons. If the potentiometers do not have the same value, the controller will not work. Not only does the motor controller receive energy from the battery, but it also sends it back during regenerative braking. EVs use both AC and DC motors. In the case that an AC motor is used, the motor controller is also responsible for converting direct current from the battery to alternating current that can be used by the motor. Based on the type of motor used, a motor controller can be a DC-DC converter or a DC-AC converter. And, as there are obviously many electronic components working together in an EV, the motor controller monitors and measures parameters such as current, motor speed, and voltage. If errors are sensed, data related to it will be sent to external systems that alert the driver. The motor controller will then trigger a response focused on maximizing the safety of the EV and passengers inside it. For instance, if a short circuit happens within the circuitry, the motor controller steps in and stops the flow of electricity from the battery. In addition to this, the motor controller also brings down the speed at which the electric motor rotates when the battery is low on charge. This is done in an attempt to get as much juice out of the battery as possible and to maximize range. Without motor controllers, it's safe to say that EVs might just be out of control.